Hey, it's Jared. Welcome back to the channel. This is my Galaxy Z Fold 4 productivity setup. I'm going to walk you through it. Uh, after making my review video uh, about how this device is misunderstood, I shared an image in there that showed this setup and people have been asking me about it and I I've just been busy. So I'm sorry, but here's the video and I'm going to walk through how this productivity setup is something that you can really unlock a lot out of this device because it is so versatile. So let me walk through what I've got going on here. I have my Galaxy Z Fold 4 set up on a little pedestal with a keyboard, a mouse, the S Pen, and a charging device so that I can take this on the go with me and be super productive with a relatively small footprint. Now, yes, this is a laptop essentially. I could have a laptop and it would be a lot less moving parts but this is my smartphone, my Z Fold 4 that has all of my information on it. I'm logged in, it's my phone, I can text message, everything is in this device. And so that functionality in and of itself makes things much easier for me because I have everything in this device already. And if I'm doing just light productivity work, this is the tool that just makes things very simple. So let me walk through what I have here and then I'll talk about some of the ways that I use this setup. So first the charging. Uh, this is not necessary, but if you are out and about, perhaps it is. This uh, charging device from Zendur here is uh, a lot of power. This is their Super Tank Pro. It's 100 watts, uh, and it's a power bank that can power multiple things. And so what's great about this device is that it has many USB-C ports on it, and it also provides information on what is being utilized. And so it shows me right now that 10.3 uh, watts of charging is going out through the second port. It shows me 75% uh, left on the battery and how many watt hours I have left here, which is uh, just above 72. This device is absolutely fantastic and its power output means that it could be used to charge a full-size laptop uh, or top off a full-size laptop as well. But it's a great tool to have whether you need to charge your Z Fold 4 or a variety of other devices all at once. Uh, I've I, I, hard to find something that is this powerful that has this much utility with a bunch of ports on it and has uh, that size of a battery in it. So that is what I use for charging when I'm out and about. When I'm plugged in here or somewhere with power, I'm just using this uh, AC adapter to USB-C. This one is from Supcase, and it's a very simple, no frills power adapter that puts out, uh, I believe, just uh, under an amp max. And so this is definitely enough to charge this type of device in its fast charging modes. Now moving on to the more interesting stuff. This pedestal is from Anchor, and it's actually for an, I guess, an iPad, but they that's how they market it is an iPad. And I have it plugged in USB-C into the phone. But essentially what this is is a hub that allows me to connect multiple things to my phone via this one single cable. If you look on the side here, you can see that I have a full-size SD card slot and micro SD card slot. That means that as a photographer, somebody that uses GoPros and small drones, I can offload my content really easily right onto my phone and share that, edit it up really quick, and share that across social media very easily. Um, this is the port here for USB-C that you would use to connect to the device. And then on the back, there is an HDMI port. Now, the Fold 4 has DeX, uh, Samsung DeX, and Samsung DeX connected to a display would allow you to unlock that, uh, that power that is DeX. I won't get into it, but if you connect a display to your Z Fold, then you have that possibility. And so full HDMI port on the back allows for that. And then over here on this side, we have power. So this is your power delivery, and that goes right in the back. And over on this side, we've got two full-size USB-A ports that are fast ports, and then we have a headphone jack as well. So this is fantastic because this device right here does a lot from one port on the phone. So as I plug in this device right to the back of my phone, 
then I get access to all of those additional ports, including charging, which just increases the productivity of this Z Fold 4 tenfold because of all of those additional ports and possibilities there. So moving on, I've got a keyboard here. This keyboard is a uh, just a, a simple folding keyboard from a company called Samsers, and I found this on Amazon. The only thing I don't like about it is that it charges with micro USB, but the battery life on this is absolutely fantastic. Um, this little folding keyboard I've had it predates the Z Fold 4 for me. I've used this on multiple other devices, including uh, iPad mini and my iPhone in the past, my S22 Ultra. I've used this on a lot of different devices. It's very easy to connect just by pushing and holding this button and Bluetooth pairing it to your Z Fold 4. And then this folds up and it doesn't take up much space. I mean, this is smaller than a Kindle reader. I mean, it's just very tiny, all folded up. But when I unfold it and then I go into uh, type instead, I can search for something uh, very easily. And boom, I, I, I'm always wanting to tap on the screen. I have a mouse connected as well. So very easy to be able to just type as opposed to using my thumbs on the screen. And then I have the Logitech MX Anywhere. This is the MX Anywhere 3 connected. Now, what's cool about this mouse is it has three channels, so you can connect it to three different devices. I have it connected to my Z Fold 4. I have it connected to my PC and also my laptop. And all I have to do is just press this button to toggle through those channels and I can connect it. And so what's great now is that I, I have essentially a small laptop uh, here because I have a keyboard, I have a mouse, I can easily go through and browse the web. I can use the little taskbar down here below to launch different apps if I need to get into my calendar, if I need to go back to my apps list uh, very easily, pull that up and zoom through and find a different app that I want to get into and open that up. Boom, very easily. This is a cool solution. I also have the S Pen. Now the S Pen is great because if I want to write something out or if I want to just uh, notate something or I want to draw on something, I have that ability. So just to show you an example, if I was on a website, for example, if I went to uh, jared.tech, which is the new web address for the State of Tech channel here. I still haven't completely gotten everything changed over, but I did switch this channel over to my name because to me, this channel is more about my tech journey and the technology that I utilize in my everyday life to get things done, uh, more so than it is the State of Tech. So uh, if I was here on this website and I'm thinking, okay, uh, this logo still needs to be changed, I can very easily take a screenshot. So I could grab this pen tool right here. I could go ahead and do a smart select by drawing a box over this area. I could then choose the pen tool and write in that I need like, let's see, logo change. And so I've annotated this and then I can click share. I could go over to the share sheet and I could share this to somebody via an email or something like that. And so what's great about this is that it's checking all the boxes that we want in different devices where uh, most laptops are not touchscreen. And even when they are, um, they don't come with a pen or it's just not very intuitive to use. The S Pen is designed to work with the Z Fold 4 and works great. And then when the S Pen is not the best tool to use, I've got the mouse for general browsing of my device and going into different apps and all of that good stuff. And uh, just generally getting around my device much faster. I've got my keyboard for entering information, typing, data entry, searching, all of that good stuff. And that process is significantly faster as well. It's also very easy to do things like voice search. I can tap the command key on the keyboard and then it will bring up Google Assistant and I can ask Google Assistant to do something. So for example, I'll hit the command. What's the weather outside? 
So utilizing the Z Fold in this way just brings additional utility, where when I'm in more of a desktop environment, I can plug it in and utilize it just as I have been here, and then quickly remove it by simply detaching the USB-C cable and then folding the phone up and being on my way. Now I've got the S Pen case on the back, so I just simply slide that in throw my S Pen in the back of the phone, and off I go. And then, I, of course, I can use this device handheld when I want to be productive on the go and I don't want to bring all of these accessories with me. So this, to me, is really a productivity toolkit in having the power of a desktop-type device, albeit with a small screen, being able to connect these things to my phone, having the big screen of the Z Fold 4 and the utility of uh, a desktop environment without having to have multiple devices. Usually we have to do something like this with a tablet or even a laptop. This setup here allows me just to do things on my device, fold it up and get on my way and pick up where I left off when I'm at an appointment or waiting or have some time down the road. This is a cool setup and it's allowed me to be a bit more productive when it comes to using phone apps that uh, I am now using on my Z Fold 4. Now, while I'm an Omni device kind of person, I'm bouncing back and forth between different devices. I'm an iPhone user, I'm an Android user. The Z Fold 4 has become my productivity tool of choice simply because I can get so much done and uh, having that bigger screen is what helps me achieve that. So some accessories like this also help, uh, but these are things that I get done much better on a device like the Z Fold 4. But when it comes to being productive, uh, tasks, email, doing different things that would be very cumbersome to do on a phone, uh, I love doing those things on the Z Fold 4, and it's a device that's unlocked additional productivity for me. So let me know what you think down in the comment section below. What are some accessories that you can't live without for your Z Fold 4? Share those with me down in the comment section. I've got links to all of these accessories in the description below, so make sure to check those out. If you've got any questions or comments, leave those down below as well. If you found this video useful, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel here so you can be notified when I put out videos next. But that's going to do it for today. hope you're having a great day. We'll see you in the next one.